Hey folks, Randy Go, Tribe Mac Man with you here today. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you had some great food, good times with family. Uh, maybe some of you went fishing on Thanksgiving. Uh, I spent today with my family and uh, it was a really, really good day. Today, folks, I got another crappie video uh, for you from under the bridge. Uh, it's just hard to stay away from there when you know there's fish there. And, well, you don't know there's fish there, but you're it's highly likely there are fish there and uh, this was uh, a video from a week week and a half ago I guess it was uh, I was down there now the fish will move out of there uh, I have never caught anything down there in January uh, other folks may have I, I have not I will continue to try but I just never caught anything down there in the month of January but up into middle of December it's usually usually pretty good there uh, and this was a good day this was a really good day uh, quality fish, when I say quality fish, a bunch of 10, 11 inch fish, a uh, whole bunch of 11 inch fish. I probably caught 80 crappie total on this trip. Um, and a lot of people say, well, you know, you don't keep crappie, so what are you, what are you going down there to fish for? Well, when you fish with ultralight tackle, super ultralight tackle, extra ultralight tackle, a crappie can give you a lot of fun on, on those rods, and that's why I do it. I haven't kept fish since uh, 2016. Now, that's not to say I'm not ever going to keep any more fish. I, I may I may decide I want some and I'll keep them. But I just love catching the things. I love the challenge uh, to see if they're there. Uh, if they are there, of course, fishing from the bank, you just assume they're either there or they're not there. And they're, or they're not biting. You might want to change colors, which I very rarely change colors. But anyway, caught these fish on sow bug color trout magnet on a one and a half gram dial with gecko and jig head. Uh, sometimes a number eight hook, sometimes a number 10 hook. Uh, it was a fun day. Uh, just a, The weather was gorgeous. It was just a fun day. Uh, and what I did, you see me start out on the far side there, uh, and I was catching plenty of fish. What I wanted, I wanted to go and try to find some 13 and 14 inch fish. Well, I got lucky. Uh, I didn't find any 13 and 14 inch fish, but I left fish to go find fish. And usually when you do that, a lot of times you, you wind up, uh, you won't find any more fish and you should have never left the place you were fishing at. But in this case, I, I found the, the fish on the other side, the same size fish, uh, uh, 11, 12 inches, uh, well, 10, 11 inches, some of them 12 inches. But uh, it made for a fun day. I used the, uh, as you see in the video, used the Eradicator Slow Taper Special, a Blue Moon uh, fluorocarbon line, which is fantastic stuff for fishing the micro jig down deep. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. Although, if you have trouble seeing lines, I'm going to tell you, this line's hard to see. It's very hard to see. But the fact that it's a sinking line, sinks quick, good knot strength, gets down to the bottom, stays on the bottom, and you don't have to use a leader uh, as you do with uh, polyester line, uh, that's the big advantage because nobody, especially if it's cold weather, you know, the worst conditions are, you don't want to fool around with tying a leader. Uh, but no leader required with a Blue Moon uh, fluorocarbon, that's a fact. So anyway, folks, uh, we're going to get out soon. Uh, the trout are doing well over at Normandy. Would be out at Normandy today fishing, but it was, uh, I think, about 32 degrees with a wind chill of 24, 25 degrees. That ain't for me, folks. That's just not for me. So anyway, hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're safe. Hope you're healthy. Uh, more fishing videos to come, folks. I uh, appreciate those who have uh, contributed. Uh, I set up the PayPal uh, uh, account uh, for asking for donations. I appreciate those who have donated. I've had some donations, and believe you me, folks, it's really appreciated. It's hard to run one of these channels um, if you don't have the proper equipment and, and you think, well, how much equipment does it take? Well, I mean, it adds up, you know, microphones, uh, uh, selfie sticks, new cameras, if you want two cameras, uh, I mean, it just adds up. But we're going to keep the channel going whether I get donations or not. I just want you to know that for those of you who have donated, I appreciate it uh, beyond words can tell. I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, it, it really means a lot to me. So until next time, folks, sore lip them all, and life is good. Good morning, everybody. Randy Go, Trout Magnum Man with you. Well, you can see where I'm at again. Uh, I've said it before. I'm sure you people get sick of me coming to the same place. But, folks, uh, you got to take advantage of the situation when it's at hand and the crappie are in here, or at least they've been in here. I hope they're in here today. Once again, we've got the same setup we've been using. Uh, Abu Garcia Radicator Slow Taper Special, Side Bug Color Trout Magnet, tip with a little piece of Berkeley Power Wiggler on a dial with Geckman 1.5 gram jig head with number 10 hook, 
So come on folks and let's see can we catch some fish. Here we go, folks. First crappie of the day. I believe it's a good one, too. I believe it is a good one. Shoot fire. What you talking about? I believe this is a good crappie here. Well, I say that, you know, <laughs> as I've said many a time, these things will fool you. They will fool you on an ultralight rod. But it's a good fish. He's a good solid fish. Oh yeah. Shoot ya. Well, folks, that's a solid fish. I'm gonna say he's 10 inches, but I'm gonna measure him because I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I found out that, which I already knew, just looking at fish, you uh, you can't necessarily get a a good eye on them. So that joker will go 11 inches. So that's 11 inch crappie. All right, let's get him back. What do we got here, folks? I believe we got us another crappie to hit this thing right at the... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's a Kentucky. Let's see what we got here. Now it's another crappie. It's another crappie. He just thinks he's big. Another 11 inch crappie, though. Well, no, I say that he ain't 11 inches. Say he's a solid 10 inch fish though. That's a legal keeper. Hey, that joker's fattening up too. All right. Another crappie here, folks. Now there's another crappie here. Oh, there's a good one here. I say good, they're all good. Shoot. When you ultralight angler, just about any fish is good. So come on to cut up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice crappie. It's a nice crappie. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Simmer down, simmer down. We're gonna get you. Boy, he wanted that. Let me tell you. Oh, he already got a. Let me get this jig out of him. He's already got enough damage on him. Wow. That's hard to believe. This Joker going through life with one eye, folks. Look at there. That eye's been out a while, too. That's a 11 inch crappie, though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, don't, 
Rough, rough, rough life this fellow's had. All right. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Nice crappie done hit this thing. Yes, sir. I say nice crappie. He, he's nice enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come here. Come up over here. Yes, sir. And shoot fire. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Ain't a darn thing wrong with him. That's a solid lead mint. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get all this mess out of here. Put all this down. I'm gonna measure this fish. Just for my own satisfaction. Uh, yeah, here go. He closed my. Yeah, he's 11 inch fish. That's 11 inch crappie. Two good fillets. Yes, sir. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Another crappie. I believe. Yeah. That is a keeper. That's a 10 inch fish. right there folks yes sir weightless train just by that's solid solid 11 inch fish that's a nice fish yes sir
another cropping. Another, another decent cropping. Yes, sir. Stay over here today. Another decent cropping. If we can get him in some grass there. That's all right. I'll get him. I'll get him. Yes, sir. All right, folks. I'm going to tell you now. Uh, get a measurement on him. Just so I know. So y'all know. I'm pretty sure he's... I'm pretty sure he's 11 inches. We're going to see what he is. Oh, yeah. He's 11 inch fish. Easy. Solid 11 inch crappie. All right, folks. Yes, sir. This crappie done hit it on the fall, folks. He done hit it on the fall right here. Yes, sir. He hit it on the fall. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Solid 11 inch crappie. Yes, sir. That's solid 11 inch fish right there, folks. All right. Folks, <clears throat> now, folks, here's a very important part. I know all of your fishermen, you know this, but what happens? We get lazy. We don't retie. You need to retie, uh, especially ultralight angling. Even though you're not catching giant fish, uh, after you catch <laughs> quite a few fish, you can you can really wear on that knot. So I get lazy about it, and it's cost me a time or two. Uh, but anyway, should always retie, especially if you get a good fish, a real good fish. Uh, so, I don't know how well it's coming out on the camera here, but we're going to see. I always like to pull the tag in, tighten her up, clip her off. We're done. All right. Here we go, folks. Here we go. These crappie is just right where it starts to fall off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there's plenty of them, too. I mean plenty of them. Another solid, solid 11 inch. Maybe even 12 inch fish. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I believe this, this, may, this fish here may go 12 inches. I don't know. We're going to measure them and see. I can tell you that. Oh yeah, he'll go 12 inches. Set me down. I'm gonna get my camera lens all messed up. Oh yeah, he'll go. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's got to be a 12 inch fish, folks. Let's see. Let's see here. Simmer down now. Oh, yeah. Almost. Well, let's see. Yeah, he'll almost go 12. Almost. 11 three quarters. Yes, sir.